Hey, kids. So what I thought we'd do today is mess around a little bit with um, this circuit simulator. So I'll have this post link posted for you. So all we need to do is click on here when you first come in. I think there's a way to clear them all, but I can't remember how to do it. So I'm just going to delete what I have. Okay. And then I'll show you. We're going to build a circuit here. Uh, put stuff together. Uh, again, in class, I would have you mess with, well, I think like last year I had some kids do this. And I, it was good in a lot of ways. In other ways, it's kind of like, well, yeah, kind of. Um, so what you can do is go to draw. You can, uh, so you can add a resistor, for instance, right here. Cool. And then you click on it. See, you can change that sucker. You can go, all right, stream, I'm going to make this a, see, where does that go? I think it's right here. Right click. Edit. Yeah, right click and then edit. And then you can change. Right now it's a thousand ohms. You made a hundred ohms if you like, friends. Okay, great. <clears throat> now, you can add another resistor. You can put them back to back if you want to. Hey, whatever, man. Hey, man, like whatever I feel like. Oh, okay. And then you go, well, let's add a wire I feel like. That'd be cool. Wee. Yeah. And then let's add a battery. So under. Inputs, I believe, is where you'll find it. And uh, not a ground. Well, oh, for the love of Pete. Well, for the love of George. Jay, come on now, bro. I know it's in here somewhere. It's not a cap. for the love of Pete. I know it's here. Voltage source. Two terminal. Phew. Holy mackerel. All right, friend. That is a battery. Okay. Now, we say it's a battery, but in reality, okay, so I click on it's 5 volts right now. I'm going to make it 12 volts. Whatever. Okay, there you go. Don't worry about the rest of it. Just hit okay. Apply. Cool. Whatever. And now, I'm just going to take another wire because, oh, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put in a Oh, for the love of Pete. Well, I was going to put a switch in, but I don't... Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. An analog switch. I think that's what you want. No, it's not what I want at all. Okay, never mind. I lied. Well, let's find it. I will find it, friends. It's okay. Mr. Groom is here. Don't even worry, I feel like. You know, Mr. Groom is like in the house. Yeah, I feel like that isn't right either. No, that's not right, Mr. Groom, you moron. Anyway, highlight what you don't like and then hit delete. It'll go away. Come on, you hippie. Uh, okay. Uh, no, I don't want five switches there, you moron. Just delete. Good criminy. All right, anyway, delete, whatever. Okay, there they go. Whew. Okay, I'm sorry. Listen, friend, all I'm going to do is just connect it back. All right. So Mr. Grimm's not going to get terribly excited about this. All right, now what you can do, a fella can just go run, stop. Wee. Mr. Chrome, why does it look like it does? Well, here's what you can do, Frank. Come over here and look, check this out. Okay, look at this right there. Okay, check it out. So right there, what does it say? 10.9, 10.9 amps of current. That's right, 10.9 amps, 10.9 amps. And why is that? Okay, because the current is the same everywhere in the system. Everywhere in the system. It's all the same. Now, what a guy can do is you can actually... Where'd the voltage go? I want to show voltage. Show voltage. Oh, because it's down. Okay, yeah, yeah. So right here, the volt's 12 volts. Right here, the voltage drop is 10.9. Do you see that volts right there? 10.9 volts. And this one here is 1.09 volts. Do you see that? VD right there. Voltage drop. Okay, and then you can see the power is 11.9 milliwatts. 
And this one over here is 119 milliwatts or 0.119. Now, oh, by the way, if you come down here, this is 12. I'm oh, sorry, pay attention, Mr. Groom. That says 10.9 milliamps. That's 0 .00 or 0 0.01 amps. Okay. So I'm going to do another one here. We're going to do this. I'm going to edit this one here and we're going to see what's up. So you are going to use this on your homework tomorrow, uh, today. To You can do, use yourself just to check yourself on this guy. If you right click, you can go to edit. Cancel. Edit. Why are you doing that? Good crime in the edit. There you go. Stupid. <laughs> now, what do we know should happen here? What we know should happen, okay, is first of all, now there should be a lot more current, correct? And why is that? Because there's a lot less resistance to flow. So if you look at this, wow, it's really cooking now. It's cooking with gas now, baby. So look what we got. So we got 60 milliamps of current. That's 0 0.060 amps. Okay. And look at your voltage drop. It's six volts here. Six volts here for a total of, that's right, 12 volts. So we're going to be looking at using this to design some circuits. Okay, let me do another one for you here. So I come in here, I can just grab the whole thing like so. I, well, I'll, you, know, you could if you didn't do that. <laughs> Select all, delete, sweet. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to go draw my add a resistor, Q. I'm going to add another resistor, Q. Heck, I'm going to add a third resistor. No way. You know what this looks like, Mr. Groom? This looks like a job for it. That's right. A parallel circuit. No way. I feel like way. Like way, man. Okay. Now you're like, whoa. And like, then what are you going to do? Well, I feel like I'm going to have it go. Boop. Boop. Wait, can you just put a ground on this, Mr. Groom? Let's find out, kids. Yada, yada, yada. Come on, Jay. I swear I saw it there. Active building blocks. No. Active components. No. Oh. I hate being old. It's right there, stupid. Judas effing priest. <laughs> All right, now let's come over here. And let's go to, again, it's input, should be, and we want a voltage source. That means battery. Come in like thus. And then let's add another ground on this side. I eat. Booyah. Wee. Now. Should this work, Mr. Groom? Probs. Now here, you're going to right-click, edit. Uh, I'm going to make this like 60 volts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Groom, I'm also going to change these, I feel like. I feel like these I want to change. So I'm going to oops, highlight the resistor, then right-click, then edit. Let's make these like, uh, I don't know, let's do 30, shall we? Mm -hmm. And this one, same thing, highlight, edit. 30. Again, most of the time we'll be using the same resistor, light bulbs, what have you in automotive. So we're just going to practice what we play in the real world kind of a deal here. Boom. Oops, that's three, stupid. You stupid. All right, there we go. Now, check it out, yo. Wee! Boy, that's cooking with gas. Now, why is it going so fast, Mr. June? Well, right here, bro, what's happening? Right here, you've got two amps of current. Wait, what? How is that? Well, look, the current is not flowing this away. Well, why is that, Mr. Groom? That's because the way we draw it up, something's a little screwy here, okay? And I don't really understand why. So uh, I'm going to t attempt to fix it right now. So I'm going to click on this guy here and get rid of it. Oop. And I'm going to click on this and get rid of it. Oop. And I think I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay. And um, I feel like this 
this should work, but you might have to do it in two pieces. That's probably what the problem is. So from white here to right here, from right here to right here, I think this is our issue, friends. I feel like this is probably going to work because I feel like maybe. There you go. Hot diggity dang. It looks like it's going even faster now. Well, yes, I should hope. I should hope so. Why? Because with three paths, there's what? There's less resistance. If you click on one of these, notice that the voltage drop is 60 volts on all of them. Remember, that's if our little bud, Ed, the electron is standing here. He can see back to the positive side of the battery. If he's here, he can see back to the negative side of the battery. And lo and behold, that is battery voltage. That's true for all of them. Okay. Now, if you note right here, the amps are 2 amps. But here it is, 6 amps. Okay. So we're going to be utilizing this technology a little bit. It's free. I kind of dig it. It makes me kind of happy. I'm going to do one more just for grins. I don't care if you like it or not. I'm going to do it anyways. That's what I do. Oh, there's the switch You're right there, you moron. <laughs> now, Mr. Groom is not the sharpest tool in the shed some days. That is just a fact, Jack. That's a fact, Jack. Movie Stripes, 1983, maybe. Uh, these guys. Mr. Green, you hooked it up backwards. I did hook it up backwards. Notice the way you draw it. I drew it from negative. It draws it from negative to positive. It's not the end of the world. Remember, positive side is always the the longer side. And so let me just fix that for us here because I feel like I want to do it the other way around, but it doesn't matter. It'll work either way. Bam. There you go. Okay. Then I'm going to do a... This time I'm going to... But this time, watch this. I'm going to do a believe I can do a light bulb. I swear there's a light bulb in here somewhere. Clock, an FM source, a noise generator. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's not it. Okay, you can actually use a diode, an LED diode. Uh, Mr. Groom may have to pause for me. I know there's a freaking light bulb in here, and this is really going to get on my nerve. I used this last year. I was pretty happy with how it turned out in general. Some of the people seemed to enjoy what they were doing. It's kind of nice. See something different, kind of, kind of excited. Uh, Oh, that's one more thing I want to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just do the resistors for right now, okay? So I'm just going to do a resistor. Check it out. And then another resistor, whatevs. Okay, and then I'm just going to put grounds on there just for a good time, if you don't mind. Well, I don't care if you mind or not. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Get over yourself. I don't care. So we're going to add a ground. We're going to add a ground here. Oh, and by the way, what if you screwed up? Nothing happens, bro. Why? Because this red thing here is upset. Why? Because you didn't put a ground on it, dog. There you go. Now it'll run. Boom. Okay, but Mr. Graham, it's not going very fast. Well, no, you got 2,000 ohms of resistance, you goob. Of course, it's not going to move very fast. Now, how can I fix that? Well, again, click on this resistor, and then right-click, edit it, and then bust this thing down to a normal-sized resistor, small resistor. Okay, it picked up the speed a little bit. But remember, that's still quite a bit of resistance if you change this. Oh, holy mackerel, look at it cooking now. Now, watch this switch. I open the switch. It, did, it stops. Close the switch, open the switch. Here, open up, you hippie. Well, no. <laughs> no. No. There you go. Okay, there you go. Bam. Now, Mr. Groom, what if I wanted to, like, I don't know, do some measuring and so forth, I feel like. I'm glad you asked about that. Check it out, yo. You can actually add a, where are you? You can add a voltmeter. Boom. So if I click right here. Oh, just a minute. Undo. I'm going to have to pause. I can't remember exactly how it works. It's been since last year. I thought it was easier than this. Oh, no. It's right there. Okay. So, what a guy can do, he can add an ohm meter right here. And what are you doing? Oh, good night. Why don't you put... <laughs> Stop it. 
Uh, drive seven more of them, you jackass. All right. Anyway, the way you do it is this. I apologize. I remember now, now that I think about it. So take your... I don't want to add a resistor. You do this, okay? Good criminy. So you're going to come down here to ohm meter, for instance. And you're going to click on that. So what you do if you're doing ohm meters, you'd go from here. Click on one end of this. And then you drag it down to here, you see. And it will tell you. Apparently, that's a one, one a 10 ohm resistor or what have you. Okay. Now, I don't really know why I did that one. And then there's a, should be a voltmeter that says the same, but it's not, I'm not showing up. So I'm not really sure why. I know what I'm doing wrong, but I don't really care either. So voltmeter. my battery voltage my battery voltage is five <coughs> interesting interesting what is going on oh, that's just weird i don't know i can't remember how that one works i guess so i guess i won't worry about it so but there is a way we'll do that we'll get that hooked back up for us in the next day or three okay so what you're gonna be playing with today is is, is manipulating this and you're gonna be using this to make several different circuits uh, what, I, what I'm going to ask that you do is to um, you're going to draw up the circuit, draw up circuits of your choice. Okay, a couple of parallels and a couple of uh, series circuits. I want to see the math that you used. Scream! I used a 12 volt battery and two 10 ohm resistors in series. Okay, cool. And here's the math. Okay, I found the total current, total resistances, all that good stuff, voltage drop, and so forth. And then I want you to build it on the screen and test yourself out. Okay. Um, that's the game. Okay. All right.